if you've been following uh, what's been happening here with Eli Manning, Steiner Sports, um, here's basically what's happening. Um, three collectors are suing the Giants, Manning, team equipment manager, Steiner Sports, and others alleging they were in on a scheme. Uh, and that has to do, do with game-worn you know, memorabilia that was being sold. That was not, I guess, uh, game worn. Um, and, you know, and this is, um, it stems from an email from uh, April of 2010 where it uh, was asked for two helmets that can pass as being game used. And, um, you know, <laughs> listen, my opinion here. Uh, way too much is being made of this. Listen, I collect a bit, not for profit, but for my own personal amusement. Rule number one, at least for me, has always been if I can't get the item I want signed in front of me, I'm not paying a dime. I'm not buying a signed item from Steiner or eBay or any other dealer. Just my preference. I'm not mailing anything into anyone to be signed either i never trusted me personally unless i can verify it myself both the signature and the item coa certificate of authenticity to me mean nothing whether eli did this or not is is not the whole issue at hand we uh, work obviously hard for our money and the things we have take better caution about what you Believe and trust before you spend that hard-earned money. Anyone can say something is game-worn. Unless he's taking the jersey off his back after the game and handing it to you on his way off the field, there will never be anything that could be a 100% way of knowing you're not being taken. So at the end of the day, I would like to hear Eli's explanation as to how it was taken out of context, which he said in a recent interview. Once he provides the explanation, I believe him. No questions asked. To me, Eli has proven himself to uh, be a, a stand-up guy. But I would like to hear more of an explanation that the email was taken out of context, which is what he said. Um, in regards to an email, this is how the whole issue, you know, came up, like I mentioned earlier. He's been in the league for, what, 13 years now. Never hurt no one. Never said anything. No one has ever said anything bad about him. He's worked with, you know, worked with in the community. I, I, the guy is a stand-up guy. Um... And it seems like recently, you know, uh, when he m met the press uh, in the training facilities, uh, that he's starting to stick up for himself. But, listen, obviously I do want to hear more just for my curiosity, but I think this is really being, in my opinion, being made too much of a big deal. Me personally, I could, again, how I, how I explain as far as memorabilia, that's just uh, my approach to it. Hope all is well. Look forward to speaking to you soon.